I'd like to call to order the Hatfield Township Board of Commissioners regular meeting for March 23, 2022. Roll call. President Zipfel. Here. Vice President Rogers. Here. Commissioner Andrus. Here. Commissioner Lees. Here. Commissioner Zimmerman. Here. I would like to ask uh, former Commissioner Ray Masser, one of our most committed Hatfield Township residents, if he would lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance this evening. <clears throat> and Ray, the entire board sends their best to you and their fa you and your family. All right. Is there a motion for uh, approval of tonight's agenda? So moved. Motion by Commissioner Lees. Second. Second by Vice President Rogers. All in uh, favor of approving tonight's agenda? That's uh, on the screen. And before you say aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none, that is approved. We can move forward with this agenda. Consent items. Is there a motion to move into the record the consent items that are listed uh, in, the, in your agenda? Motion by Commissioner Andrus. Second. Second. Second by Commissioner Zimmerman. Uh, so those items include the Board of Commissioners regular meeting minutes of February 23, the Board of Commissioners workshop meeting minutes of March 9, the Treasurer's report for the month of January, the bills payable, paid bills in the amount of $36,288.21, and unpaid bills in the amount of $323,212.07. With that, I'll call the question. All in favor of moving those into the record say aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none, that is, uh, they are moved into the record. Okay, citizens' comments. Any citizens' comments on agenda items? i move forward to our action items. First is a land development application uh, with regard to Pharma Cadence at 1440 Industry Road. That's resolution 22-03. Is there a motion for approval? So moved. Motion by Vice President Rogers. Second. Second by Commissioner Lees. Uh, Ken, I think you have this one. I do. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, this application is the one we discussed two weeks ago at our March 9th meeting. It, is, uh, it involves an 8,700 square foot addition to an existing 5,000 square foot facility on Industry Road. Um, it is in the industrial district and it is an industrial use. Uh, the, uh, the project was, was rather straightforward. Uh, there were a number of changes that came about during the review process, but at the end of the day, it was a pretty straightforward project. There were um, uh, four or five waivers that were discussed, all of which were uh, recommended by the Planning Commission and discussed with the Planning and Zoning Committee. The, um, the applicant has agreed to all of the requirements in the various review letters and agreed to the appropriate um, contributions to the traffic impact fee. There are no contributions due for landscaping. Th those requirements have all been met. Uh, the solicitor's office put together a resolution, circulated it last week. There was a minor comment from the applicant's attorney, which has been since been addressed. And um, we now have in front of us a signed copy of the resolution, and it is currently ready for the board uh, to take action on. Uh, obviously, if there are any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. The applicant is also here with her, with her um, architect. If there what are was questions. the change, Ken? The change was, there was a comment in there about stormwater management, and as it turns out, because of the changes in the, um, during the, the evolution of the project, there was no need for additional stormwater management because of the elimination of a significant amount of impervious cover. So the comment in the resolution relative to stormwater management was no longer necessary. All right, thank you. Welcome. All right, any questions, comments from commissioners? Residents. All right, hearing none, then I'll uh, act on the motion. Is there a, um, a resolution 22 03? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none, that is approved. Thank you very much for coming out. Uh, bid results for uh, with regard to a number of different um, uh, functions in the township. Is there a motion to approve the, f the bids that are listed in your agenda? So moved. Motion by Commissioner Lees. Second. Second by Vice President Rogers. Um, I'll read through them, Aaron, and then I'll, sure. if, you, if you need to identify anything specifically, it's sure. road paving is uh, Glasgow Inc., $631,248. ADA ramps is Va Vanek uh, Company Inc., 
$194,045.67. Propane is Rhodes Energy, $21,300. Heating oil, Rhodes Energy, $10,015.20. Pool Chemicals, Buckman's Inc., $320,823. Gasoline, Rhodes Energy, $90,765. And diesel fuel, Moyer Indoor Outdoor, $33,900. I don't know if there's anything you need to. Yeah, there's a, there's a few things, Mr. President, if you don't mind, unless you, you want me to do this now before the vote. Sure. Just, just a few highlights for the residents in the community that I think um, they'll find noteworthy. Uh, fuel prices, commissioners, we, we lucked out somewhat um, with obviously the, you know, the global market and the rising cost of, of fuel. Uh, I think the bids were not strategically timed, but stum stumbled into a, a pretty good price, uh, right around $3 a gallon for gas, an increase from last year in diesel. Um, but still not as bad as what we thought. And then the, the, of these, I think the, what the residents usually like to see are what roads are being paved in 2022. So here's the list, and I have um, some, some visual also. Um, but just thanks to Commissioner Andrus and, and Commissioner Lees for heading the Public Works Department. And Commissioner Lees talked about this process over the past few months. Uh, Tim Frank and our Public Works Department has done a great job. He um, was able to project the pricing, which is, is really hard to do right now. Um, with what's happening and uh, thankfully every road proposed will be paved in 22. We came in right under budget, which I didn't necessarily think was going to happen. Um, so here's, here's the one neighborhood that will be paved off of our Villa Road. That's the, the Winston Werner Elm Dogwood Rose Gum. And if you've driven down there and uh, I think Hatfield has, I think we all can agree that Hatfield has great roads, um, but these ones out no question. Another section is a nice major road, Koffel, all the way from 40 foot to our villa. Uh, we paved about four or five years ago uh, the other section of Koffel after our villa road. So this will be nice to make this uh, large improvement there, which gets a lot of traffic. Um, and then MacArthur and the circle there uh, off of 40 foot, which is something that uh, we, we tar and chipped that years ago. And it, it's been struggling and it's been on our list for years and it just kept missing it based on some of the bid prices. So we're happy to see it finally included in the pro project here for 2022. So Aaron, it does include Davis Circle. It, it does. And my uh, drawing is uh, uh, leaves a lot to be desired. It, no, is, that's it fine. is all of that in there, including Davis Circle. Yeah, and it's a short, yeah. it's just a <laughs> small area, but yeah. It yep does include Davis uh, and MacArthur, so that whole stretch there oh, will be okay. repaved, and that with with the, in, not a huge volume in there as far as traffic, that should be good for the next 20 to 30 years. Um, so it's good news. Plus, all of the uh, accessible ramps associated with all of these projects came in under budget as well. So we'll be upgrading and, and meeting the current code for all the ramps that are required um, along these roads. So it's good news. By far, our most visible project we do every year. Commissioner's budget almost a million dollars to upgrade the roads throughout the township and have been doing so for about nine years. And as you drive around our town, it's pretty apparent of that commitment. Um, and what, what's tricky, and I know we, have, we all have these conversations, but a lot of the roads in Hatfield belong to the state or the county, uh, and there is another town here, Hatfield Borough. So I think people get a little confused on which roads which is from what I hear, but when you explain to them which ones are, are the townships, I think we can all stand by them pretty proudly on, on the condition of those. And is there an estimate on when that might begin? Ramps should begin um, early June, I would imagine. We'd like to have those done by 4th of July, so May, June, depending on contractor schedule, and then paving right after with the goal of it being completed before the school, uh, school year begins. Yep. Now, that, that can fluctuate, but that's the goal. Okay, great. Any questions for Aaron? Any questions from commissioners or residents? Lock that fuel price in for two years. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. The only other thing to point out is the uh, chemicals for the aquatic center did increase significantly. Oh, and that is something over the years we've worked on. We you know, we we formed other towns to drive the cost down. Unfortunately, there's one bidder. There's there's one player in this um, over the past several years. So we're going to try to generate some competition, but uh, it's, it's really, the last few years have been one better, which isn't ideal for pricing. Okay. All right, anything else before I call the question? Uh, Mr. President. All right, then I'll call the question. All in favor of approving those bid results, say aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none, that is approved. 
Uh, action item number three, resolution 20, tw I'm sorry, 2204. Is there a motion for approval with regard to the HTMA 2022-2023 budget, which has no rate increase? So moved. Motion by Vice President Rogers, second by Commissioner Andrus. Aaron, do you have this one uh, tonight? Yeah, that's pretty it. Uh, that's pretty much it, Mr. President. Uh, the, the, the rate stays at $82 per quarter, which is the top 10 lowest uh, within the, the, the entire Philadelphia region area for uh, rates for residential. Uh, I think we all know, and, and let's remember too, HTMA, our, our sewer authority, the board is appointed by the commissioners. Um, and I think we know how good of a job they do uh, running that organization with I'm director, so another year without fee increases and, and great services provided. That's great service, and Pete and his entire staff do a great job over there. Any questions or comments from residents, commissioners? One other thing, commissioners, just, just so everyone's aware, housekeeping in nature, the, the authority runs on an April fiscal calendar. That's why we're approving the oh. budget in March every year. It's, it's a little bizarre, but that's how it's set up. Okay. All right, with that, I'll call the question. All in favor of resolution 22-04 say aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none, that is approved. Resolution 22-05, is there a motion for approval with regard to the Arbor Day and plant exchange designation? Motion by Commissioner Zimmerman. Second. Second by Commissioner Lees. Aaron, do you have this one as well? Yeah, just, just briefly, uh, Commissioners. As, as you know, Hatfield's a tree city. Uh, Commissioner Zimmerman talks about a lot of these events in our Parks and Rec updates over the months. Uh, every year, part of the requirement to maintain tree city status, which we have now had for many years, is to have a, a formal resolution uh, memorializing these events. So May 20th, there'll be a plant exchange in School Road Park in the evening, 4.30 to 5.30, so you can bring a plant and, and take a plant. It's pretty much what the, the name says it is. Um, then Earth Day, uh, our, our big event that we have April 23rd, 8 to 12, you can drop off cardboard, paper, uh, other yard waste at the public works facility, and then TVs and uh, uh, hazardous materials over at Clean Earth on Sandstone Drive off of North Penn. And I would come early for that one because that, that line gets very, very lengthy because it is very hard to get rid of a TV. That, that's a nice service the commissioners provide. Aaron, given they don't have a green thumb, if I bring a pine cone over with seeds, <laughs> I traded it for a tree. <laughs> for a real tree. I feel bad for who's left with that pine cone at the end of the day. <laughs> Whatever you think is right, Commissioner. <laughs> all right. Any questions or comments? Hearing none, I'll call the question. All in favor of resolution 22-05 say aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none, that is approved. Last action item of the evening. Resolution 22-06. Is there a motion for approval with regarded, regarding the acceptance of the right-of-way at Orvilla Road? So moved. Motion by Commissioner Lees. Second. Second by Vice President Rogers. I'll, I'll be happy You're to take, either that. One I'll take this, this one. Is, this, this, this is probably mine. Yeah, I'll take this one, Ken. <laughs> Whoever wants to pick up the ball. I'm waiting for the second. I didn't, We're going to fight didn't over it. Oh, was there not <laughs> a second? Do you want to wrestle over it? <laughs> was, was there was a second? second? Okay, sorry. I, 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 <laughs> so th this is just a housekeeping item, um, Commissioners. As, as we were going through the design, and just a reminder, we talked about this in the public meeting, but th this stretch over here, um, which is PP&L right-of-way on the other side of the tracks, is where we have uh, an application, and actually we're hoping to hear about this in the next week or so, uh, a million-dollar application to build this entire portion of, of what is part of the Liberty Bell Trail. Um, and and we hearing good things about it, but I don't have anything to announce tonight. But anyway, during that design process, it was realized that for whatever reason, years ago, before most of us in this room were here, um, the township just didn't formally accept the, the right-of-way uh, when the Tarrington development went in. Um, <coughs> formal board action and a resolution accepting this right of way cleaning this up we don't want any hiccups if we do get this funding we just want to make sure everything's clean out there and the way it should be um, so we can get that design going because there will be part of the design for the the trail is a connection over the um, tracks that's why this tracks was discovered right yeah <coughs> there'll be a crossing to connect all of the residents from over here and and tarrington and, and elsewhere to the trail so th this is this is just an item that um for whatever reason, wasn't done 20 years ago, Ken, 15 years ago, something like that. But it, it was Orvilla Road's a, a PennDOT road, so the the right of way was offered to the township. The township didn't take it because it's a PennDOT <coughs> road, but as it turns out, we need it now in order to work on in the order to do Bell Trail. Yeah, right. And, it, and it's still a state road, still state right of way, but outside the right of way, there is a little township portion. Do, does not change anything in in the in the field. 
no one will notice the difference. It's just paper. Okay. Any questions, comments? All right. Hearing none, then I'll call the question. All in favor of resolution 22-06 aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none, that is approved. All right. Citizens' comments? Any citizens' comments? I have one. After seeing that, we're going to put no parking along that road to prevent or trucks from parking there. Has that been working well? Yeah. I've heard rave, rave reviews, yeah. Carrington is very pleased. Are there trucks there? That was, that was a good move. They had difficulty making a left-hand turn out of there, not just because of traffic, but also because of the blocking of the trucks, and um, Tarrington folks have been very pleased. All right, Any uh, anything else for the good of the order? If not, then I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Motion by Commissioner Lee, second by Commissioner Andrus. Uh, any questions or comments? Hearing none, I'll call a question. All in favor of adjournment say aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none, we are adjourned. Thanks for coming out, folks.